Hi guys, today we'll have a look at the Dragon's Tongue bracelet. This one is a two color version done with a loop and knot closure. This will require three pieces of paracord in total. Uh, these two pieces are 130 centimeters each or around about 51 inches and I just heated them up with a lighter and then fused them together when they were molten just by pressing them together and then I rolled them in between my fingers and this is going to be our core strand and this one is 90 centimeters long or around about three feet so I'm going to start off by finding the center of my core strand and this one is already centered here and I just want to place that core strand over the top of that fused section and I'm going to tie a cobra knot and I'll do that by taking this right strand over both of those core strands I'll take this left strand over that and I'm going to take this one behind and up through that right loop. Then I'll pull it through and tighten the knot. And I'll just adjust this loop here till it's about one centimeter. And I'm going to tie one more cobra knot just to lock this into place and then we can begin our weave proper. So I'll take that left hand strand over the center this time then I'm going to take the right one over that then I'm going to take it behind and through that left loop and I'll tighten that one up So this one is a pretty easy pattern to do. It's just uh, over under weave. I'm going to start with my left hand strand here and I'll come in underneath both of those core strands. I'll take this right strand underneath that one over the right core strand and then underneath the left one and pull it through and then I will do an opposite weave with this right strand so where this one went over this one will go under so I'll go under then over pull that to the opposite side and then we just want to pull these tight and then compress the knot to the top so I just like to hold this knot here at the top just to prevent it sliding up and closing this loop and then I'm using my thumb to press the whole thing upwards and then we can continue with this top left hand strand I'm going to come in over and then under and then over and I will continue with the other left hand strand we'll come in underneath this very left one here then over and then under so you can see it follows a very easy over under pattern starting with this top right we'll go underneath and then over under
and then the other one will go under over. And again, tighten it up and push the knot to the top. And then as you're tying it, try and get even tension all the way down so that these lobes here on both sides remain pretty much parallel all the way down. So you would continue with this over under weaving pattern all the way down until you get to the bracelet to the desired length. So once we get down to the desired length I'm just going to show you how to lock this into place. I'm going to finish this off with a couple of copper knots so I'm going to start with that right hand strand going over both of those core strands, the left one over that and then behind and up through that right loop. Draw this together and then do one more so we'll come over with the left the right will go over that and then behind and up through that left loop tighten that down nice and hard and then we just need to cut off these excess pieces here and tie a button so to cut and singe these off, uh, just get a pair of scissors and cut them close to the edge of the knot and then grab your lighter, just singe the edge just until it's molten and then press it down to flatten it out a little bit so it doesn't pull back through the knot and then just repeat over the other side, cut off the excess Heat it up with a lighter and then just press it into place. So to tie this button I'm going to do a pretty simple button. I'm going to take the right hand strand and come in underneath to form a loop here on the right and then I'm going to take the left strand and form a loop coming over both of those two center strands. I'm just going to hold it in place there. I'm going to take this right strand up through the right loop and the left strand down through the left loop. And then to tighten, we just need to pull directly outwards. Get it nice and tight and again we will cut and singe off these excess pieces here in the same way that we did it up here and then that'll be the finished piece. And so here it is with the button cleaned up. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys. Thanks for watching.